hello everyone, we will show you how to link several motion detectors together. There are two possibilities. Either you have one detector already installed and configured. Or you have a kit with one detector, TRE500, and one receiver, TRE201, already configured. In this case, you need to reset the two products. In this example, we have one detector already installed and configured. So first step is to reset it. Press and hold CFG push button until it flashes. Then release it. Same thing for the receiver. Then wait 20 seconds before starting the setup. Second step is to set up and associate the two sensors. First, change the position of the potentiometer into impulse mode. This means that the detector sends a run command to the receiver at each detection. Press CFG to start the configuration. Press and hold the function that flashes red. Then release it to validate. When CFG stops flashing, leave the configuration mode by pressing the CFG button of the detector. Factory setting time is 3 minutes on the receiver, we will see later how to change it. Do the same with the second detector TRE500. Make sure the potentiometer is on impulse mode. Press CFG to start the configuration. Select the impulse function that flashes red, and validate it. The second detector is now paired. We can leave the configuration mode. Now both detectors TRE500 have been configured with the receiver. If you want to change the timer, you can use one of the detectors already configured. Go into configuration mode. Press and hold the FCT button during 5 seconds until CFG flashes. I am now in a timer setting. We have 5 flashes, which means that we are on a factory timeout value of 3 minutes. If you want to change to 1 second, repeat short pressures on the button, until you get one single flash. You can find the value settings into the configuration instructions manual of TRE201. To validate, press and hold the button during 2 seconds, until CFG flashes. I am again in impulse mode, flashing red. Then you can leave the configuration mode from the detector. I am now in impulse mode 1 second. This means that when we come by a detector, it triggers a timer of 1 second. As the detectors are on battery, they can repeat their order every 30 seconds only. So in 30 seconds, when you come by a detector, the output is activated during 1 second. If you have one flush mounted output, you can do the same to associate the two sensors and change the timer. 